Okay, the topic here is time travel. Is it possible, even in theory, to do something like this uh, or not? Well, moving forward in time is no problem. Uh, as far as physicists are concerned, it's a no-brainer. The answer is, yes, of course, we can. In fact, we're all doing it right now. We're all moving forward uniformly pretty much through time. And we can move forward in time enormous amounts, millions or even billions of years, if we travel fast enough. The faster you move through space, the more slowly you move through time in your own frame of reference. So if I moved at 99.9999999% the speed of light, and I flew at that speed to the Andromeda galaxy about 2 million light years away and then 2 million light years back, 4 million years would have passed on Earth. And in my own time frame, in my own frame of reference, only 4 days or 4 weeks might have passed, depending on my precise speed. So I could be long gone as far as everyone on Earth is concerned, and maybe everyone on Earth is dead and you know half a million generations have passed by. Moving forward in, into the future and staying there is no problem at all. Going backwards is much more problematic, of course, because of the paradox issues. We all know from movies like Back to the Future that if you can travel backwards in time 30, 40, 50 years, you can get back to the point in the past where you're at the point of the past before you were conceived, at which point you can kill one or both of your parents, and then you can't possibly be conceived, and then what would happen to you? Would you cease to exist, and would the future cease to exist? Now, the only way that we can think of beyond this paradox is by using, in all likelihood, black holes. Uh, black holes bend and distort space and time so violently and so sharply that you might be able to take a U-turn through space-time and emerge at some point in the distant past. It's not inconceivable you could do this. But it's also rather unlikely because of the paradox issues that you would emerge in this same universe. You might emerge in a parallel universe where in fact you had always been there, you had always existed, and so you were simply filling in a gap or being part of the history of that universe anyway. Uh, the idea of time travel simply from now to a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, in this same identical universe, again opens up those paradox issues. So if I were a heavy betting man, I would say probably not. Then again, lots of physicists around 1901, 1902 would have told you there's never going to be a heavier than air flying machine. And just a year later, they were all proved embarrassingly wrong. And so I'm going to leave the possibility open just so that as the time travelers start appearing in the next few minutes or hours or whatever around me, I won't look like a complete fool.